babes, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to do a transformation from weirdo weirdo into Barbie on crack weirdo. If you've ever wondered what that looks like, ha ha, trust me. Stick around to the end because um, you're in for a treat. Transformation. So if you're new here, where you been all my life? Uh, this is pretty much what I look like every day. Like just your average weirdo gothic. Every now and again, I like to do transformation videos. I like to, I like to chav it up, hippie it. Oh, I haven't done a hippie actually. Oh, next one. I like to have fun with my style and experiment, and you know, have a laugh. If you can't laugh at yourself, you can't laugh at anyone else. You shouldn't laugh at anyone else anyway. That's mean. That ain't nice. Don't do it. You know, you know what I'm saying. This whole video came from this. I, uh, I was not going to plan to do this video at all. And then um, I wear a lot of wigs. This is a wig. I shaved my head. VP Fashion got in contact with me and asked if I wanted a wig. And I used to work with them all the time when I had hair. And they're my favourite wig hair extension company ever. I thought it would be a laugh to have a bit of fun with it before I dye it. I'm going to tell you more about the wig in next week's video when I dye it. So I got a lace front wig in, in colour 613, which if you don't know all hair terms, is bleach blonde and it is 16 inches long and silky straight unlike me i just thought it was a shame to get it and dye it without doing something with it first i have already filmed my barbie makeover so i'm i know how horrendous this whole thing looks together but the wig itself it's pretty amazing it's a budget wig as well so if you want to know more about this wig uh tune in to next week's video and i'll tell you all about it but if you just came here to see me looking like a shit barbie get ready for it actually after i had filmed it all i went downstairs and showed my husband and i was like all dressed up and had my lips powdered powdered and i went don't you love me baby and he literally went no so i was like it's nice to know you're only with me for my looks isn't it my looks and my massive flat chested titties but then barbie's got big tits isn't she barbie has unrealistic expectations of what a woman should look like we all want to look like monster high dolls or lols i am a bit of a fan of an lol i really am. i like that they're short and chunky like me that's it i will stop jabbering and i will get into the makeover the, the horrendous makeover that will definitely give you nightmares let me know what you think in the comments down below do you prefer me like this or like like what you're gonna see that's it guys i hope you enjoy this video i hope you enjoy the makeover and um keep watching to be scarred for life okay let the transformation begin so i'm gonna start off by cleansing my skin i've got my mirror here and i've got all my makeup on like a little table down here i'm using micellar water i love this stuff i haven't got any makeup on and that's just filthy now i'm using um my normal foundation which is which is body shop fresh nude foundation i've got my glasses on i can't see in shade bora bora i actually bought some different foundation i bought some darker foundation because barbie always has a tan i don't have a tan i um don't like to tan personally so what i'm gonna do is use my so dope palette and try i have no idea if this is gonna work i'm gonna try and mix some like a tan shade in with my foundation do it on my hand just to see if that will work so i'm just gonna kind of like powder it up a bit i don't know what i'm doing pour it on my hand okay that kind of worked make a little potion on my hand you see give me that sun-kissed look rather than that moonlight glow graveyard shit that i rock i am just naturally pale like i'm i'm actually italian and my brothers and, and my sister are like quite dark but i'm just pale i just avoid the sun oh there we go that's what i want i hope this works. i'm gonna squirt this on the top and then kind of mix it together and see if it actually works kind of oh okay yeah i think it has a little bit like there's a touch well i'm gonna just use that i'm just gonna stick oh okay yeah okay we gotta pile that on nice and thick barbie's skin is flawless i don't even think when i was a baby my skin was that flawless getting all those dark circles barbie don't have dark circles barbie ain't done a day's work in her life i mean to be fair barbie is a businesswoman she's got good jobs that barbie girl oh it's just so gross oh shit i should have done my piercings first okay we'll do this and then i'll take my piercings out give me a bit more of that tan color come on oh well i didn't mean to do that so do you know what i'm gonna do as well i'm gonna practice contouring oh my gosh okay we're getting there we're getting there this just is so uneven what do you think <laughs> this is awful let's 
take my piercings out. I should have done that first, but um, but I forgot. Except I had pierced a few months ago and it is healed now. So I'm gonna try and um, kind of like flip my normal one up. It's quite big, so I don't know if I can do it. Okay, see it's up there, you hear that? It's kind of giving me a nose job. It's like stretch my nose out and spike. I'm gonna leave that bar in just because it's a biatch to get back in. So next I'm gonna go in with my collection Primed and Ready Invisible Setting Powder. This is all right, it was like cheap and it needed a setting powder. Just set that because we wanna keep that natural tanned glow, don't we? Oh yeah, girl, mm. I just look not right. I sound like such an, an idiot. I, I just don't know how normal girls do their makeup. See, I had to buy like new stuff because I didn't have this makeup. This is a fine sketch liquid eyebrow pen can you hear the kids next door screaming that's all they do all day every day and people ask me why i don't want any more children because you can't scream mm. yeah i kiss my favorite what of it okay like i can't even get this open ronald 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 ignore me open you sick son of a bitch see quarantine is just making me go crazy like i just want to be a barbie girl oh my god karen you can't just ask people why they're white okay so it's got like this i haven't got my glasses on i can't see this like nibby bit holy fuck that made real eyebrow lines i got this off ebay for like two pound so i don't know how to do eyebrows like i don't know what normal eyebrows look like i haven't had normal eyebrows since i was 12. so let's just let's let's see, let's go let's see what we can do okay okay oh i didn't contour or do you do that after your eyebrows i have no idea okay okay we're just gonna we're just gonna do our thing this okay this barbie's gonna be surprised surprised that there is a real life going on outside Malibu. <gasps> what do you mean women can now vote? Oh my God, do the men know about this? Okay, I don't know what these brows are, but for this, for the sake of this video, they're Barbie brows. What am I doing with my life? I'm gonna blame the fact that I um, wear glasses and I can't see what I'm doing on the fact that it looks so shit, but I feel like the end result is gonna be worth it. I feel like it's gonna all come together. I'm gonna try and do some contouring simply because I've never done it. So how do you do it? Let's have a go. So we get a colour that's darker than our skin. How do we do it? Should I give myself a nose job? Okay, that looks like I've just wiped shit on my nose. Oh look, now there's two lines of shit. The ironic thing is, is if I went to my Nana's house looking like this, she'd be so proud. And then you blend it in, but then how does that look like you've got a skinny nose? Uh, I, d I don't even know. No, that looks awful! <laughs> this Barbie's just learning makeup. She doesn't know how to use it, so we're just gonna pretend that that's all right. So now I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow. I bought these cheap MUA eyeshadows. Every basic Barbie have usually got bright blue eyes, bright blue eyes, like even my hands don't wanna hold it. These are like a pound each. To be honest, I haven't seen a Barbie in many, many years. My daughter has never played with Barbies, so I don't even remember what they look like. Probably should have uh, looked that up before I filmed this. Okay, let's go in. Oh, okay. For a quid, this eyeshadow is pretty good. Shame about the colour, but hey-ho. My forehead and my nose are so brown and my cheeks are not. I look like I've stepped into a tanning shop and just gone, <laughs> do you know what? Let's take our eyeshadow up to our eyebrows. That's what I used to do in high school, seriously. That's how I got the nickname Dollface. This girl is the nastiest skank bitch ever. See, look, I'm, I'm dressing up like a Barbie and I already feel bitchier. I feel like I want to go and just be a bitch. You see what Barbie does? Barbie dangerous. But then Barbie's like a gazillionaire, so she'd have people to do her makeup for her anyway. Oh, the blue one, sorry, I forgot to say. The blue one is called Pearl, just in case you want to buy it. The nude one is called Matt. Cool, I look like Ursula. I mean, that's a good thing. Oh, great. It's the exact same color as my skin. <sighs> First world problems. Come on, Bob Ross. Take me. Get into my body and help me paint on this happy little bush right here. I was actually watching Bob Ross on um, YouTube the other day and I didn't realise that like two hours had gone past and I was just watching him paint a forest scene and it was just so hypnotic. I definitely look like Randall from Monsters Inc. I shed in my eye. Ah! Ah! <sighs> now it's physically hurting me. Not just mentally. Barbie, why you do this to me? Why you do this? Have any of you seen Jawbreaker? If you like Mean Girls, check out Jawbreaker. 
It's one of my favourite films. It's like Mean Girls on crack. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Ken slept with Malibu Stacy. I'll just buy him another Jeep and he'll come back. I don't know in what dimension my brain thinks Barbie is like this, but this is what I think Barbie is like. So now we need the worst mascara that has ever been invented, and that is Makeup Revolution Mascara. It doesn't even have a name. It's it's awful. It gives you those like big spider lashes, which is not a good thing. Like it sounds like a good thing, which is why I bought it. Like all the reviews were, it gives you spider lashes. I was like, I want spider lashes. It's so clumpy and it's just awful and it just, ugh. It just, it's so hard to get off as well. Like this will be on for the rest of my life now. That nose, I'm gonna have to do, I've gotta do something about it. Of course, we got some lashes. Magnetic ones, because I'm too much of an idiot to do normal lashes. Oh look, apparently I can't even do magnetic ones. Oh, there we go. No, that's backwards. Oh my God, you are the worst invention ever. Okay, I'm just gonna clip them on and like hope my eye doesn't like melt together. Oh my God, I did it. Oh my God, oh my God, I did it, oh my God. That is really uncomfortable. I have recently started wearing fake eyelashes, but they do take me like so long to put on. And I thought this would be quicker. I was wrong. Uh, uh, no. That is so wonky. That's really, that's just awful. Look, the mascara made the eyelash stick to my eye. Do not ever get that mascara. It's awful. <laughs> now there's mascara all over my hands. I just want to go back to my weird makeup. It's so much easier. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. No. The lady on the advert just went clip. Ah! Why can't I do that? That's your home. Don't you want to go home? Do you know what? I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I'm not supposed to wear eyelashes, but that's it. <laughs> NYX Liquid Eyeliner. I love this stuff. I use this for my everyday makeup. I probably should have done this before I did my eyelashes. Barbie has a nice, delicate little, like, 50s flick, doesn't she? Muffed this one up, and I... That's not too bad, actually. But then I don't have my glasses on, so it looks alright. Lipstick, I am- I can't read this. <laughs> Models own lipstick in shade so special. Because Barbie is like, so freaking special. So freaking special. I'm a liquid lipstick girl. I can't do lipstick. I know that's really random, but I just can't. I just- uh, I just- this colour combination is horrendous. I feel like Mrs. Potato Head. Oh, I hate- Lipstick. I hate you. I just can't get clean lines with lipstick, whereas liquid lipstick, you can do like the nice smooth lines. This, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's dried my lips out so much as well. Uh, uh. Even my ferrets run away, even he's scared. Oh my god, Karen, you can't just go returning things and speaking to the manager. This is like a lipstick topper, it's actually really nice. It's from uh, Revolution. Us girls love diamonds and sparkles and glitter and shit. Oh yeah, oh uh, yeah. Ugh. I own 51% of this shit company. Wow, I feel like a hoe. Right, let me put my glasses on because I can't see what I'm doing. I got this white polo top from Boohoo. It was like literally the cheapest thing that I could find on Boohoo. I wanted something that would cover up my tattoos as much as possible. So I went for a polo neck, polo, little polo, little polo. And I need bra, I don't have a bra on. So I'm gonna put these on. I just realized who I look like. It's Pauline, isn't it? From League of Gentlemen, Pauline's pens. Mickey Love, now Mickey Love, sit down, sit down. I freaking love League of Gentlemen. Um, you can kind of see my tattoos through them, but don't worry because I have a dress to go over this. Barbie wouldn't be complete without a nice pink dress, would she? I got this off eBay and these are so freaking comfy. So I, I wear these for bed actually, so that's why I didn't mind getting one. So I'm gonna pop this on. Oh, perfect. Oh my God, I'm living that girly fantasy. Accessories and then I'll get onto my hair. A really cheap gold trio chain thing that I got off eBay from 99p. This is scaring me. Like this, oh, this, these are so annoying. I don't know how girls wear these. I'm not a dainty necklace person. I'm a spiked collar, come near me and I'll stab you kind of girl. 57th time's a charm. Oh yeah, I'm loving that. Hoop earrings. Um, I'm gonna slot these in between my plugs and my ears. I feel so ugly. Like not just the makeup, I just, because this isn't me in the slightest, like, this has never been me. I've been alternative my whole life. From the age I could choose my own clothes, I've worn 
black I've worn what I wanted and though this just makes me feel so uncomfortable <laughs> so next I have the Pierce de Resistance which is my VP fashion human hair wig that's what actually started this video is I got a new wig because I shaved my head hence the wig cap lace front human hair wig discount code Emily Boo bing if you want some money off so this is the lace on it so you cut this um, a lot of people like cut them while they're on I don't I like to cut it off I can see better just cut all along that hairline okay here we go nearly done I can brush this fringe anyway it's lace free part so um when I do it for my hair I'm gonna cut it into a fringe I'm a fringe girl but for Barbie she's gonna have a side fringe so I'm gonna part it there brush it over are you ready are you ready are you ready to see the final piece off this is fucking horrendous and this is the most uncomfortable I have ever felt in my own skin I'm taking the account Barbie she ain't real she ain't real that's how I imagine Barbie would be but I just want to say um this was a lot of fun to do but be yourself don't be a sheep be yourself be be crazy wear what you want and most of all stay weird <laughs>